YouTube fam, hope you guys have been safe out here in these insane markets. Given, once I hit the realization last week that um, the markets were pretty much inhospitable for newbies like myself, I decided to sit out. Not going to be doing any trades today either. I'm going to wait until tomorrow and see what today brings to give me um, some idea of how of what the bias is supposed to look like. But slowly but surely starting to understand when I can and cannot get away with things. <laughs> so instead of um, doing any sort of early morning attempts at testing, let's go ahead and just dive into normal back testing of my trade model and see what's up. All right, first things first, let's see what's in store for the week news-wise and what might affect things. Let's take a look at all of the insane price movements. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, simple facts, like if I can ha if I can make a case for both directions, and this is something ICT uh, posted in a, in a tweet, but last week, like it ran true for me because you probably saw in one of my, in one of my things, I was like, oh, well, you know, we could go, go back down from here, but we could go up. And I'm like, I need to remember that I have, when you have that epiphany and you have that moment where, huh, you could argue for both then something's not right, man. Plus, last week was insane. We had the dollar moving in the same direction as the, the ES and NASDAQ. and the, I mean, wow, it just made no sense to me. So, I just gotta learn. Just, just learning. All right, that sounds like a good time. Let's get some, let's do a little bit of a analysis on where we are at the moment in time and what we can expect. Let's take a look at the seasonal, seasonal tendencies, news, all that good stuff, and then let's back to us. Uh, this one shouldn't take too long. I have a my first meeting of the day at 8.30 in the AMs, <laughs> so Eastern Standard. So it's 7.45, so I got to be done in 30 minutes. Let's see if I can make that happen. All right, let's get tiny. Okay, my screen's over here, so I'm going to dip a little this way. All right. So let me turn off my market session. I'm using that to backtest. And just to remind me where I am in, in time. Uh, first things first, let's go out to the daily. And what I have delineated, delineated, wow, why did I have it so far up? Whatever, it's all good. So these are like um, uh, IPTA, uh, I guess, data shifts, right? This is the last time we had like a, a big shift. And then the next one and the next one, I'm just kind of like move them forward in time quarterly, right? So for the last 60 days, the highest high is here and the lowest low, is that lower? Is here, right? For the last 40 days, the highest high is here and the lowest low is here. So they haven't taken any of that out. Last 20 days, loop back, um, the highest high was here. They took it out right there. And the lowest low is down here. So they haven't taken this out yet. So we're coming up on, wow, in, in pretty short order here, we should be expecting some sort of shift, right? We've been sort of sitting around in this general vicinity, not this is the cast forward, right? We've been sitting around, slight move up, but very, very choppy, very, very hard to read markets in this space. But we're coming up on 20 days, so potentially we might see some sort of adjustment during that time. Um, and then 40 days and then 60. So let's go out to Forex Factory. Let's see what news we've got coming in this week. Wow, today is pretty uh, chill. Nothing exciting. It's a bank holiday. What's that? New Zealand, Australia. All right something for the cat it's it's not really like um it's really low so high and medium so the red and the orange are what we look for tuesday we've got consumer confidence at 10 a.m mixed in with new home sales richmond manufacturing so might be fun at 10. might be a day where i wait till the afternoon to do anything that looks good. And then Wednesday, we have some durable goods at 8.30 in the AMs. And then Thursday, we have GDP, unemployment. Yeah, that should be interesting. Pending home sales. And then 
Anything else exciting on Friday? A few things for the currencies. Um, 8.30 a.m. for uh, core PC on Friday. All right, so we'll see. And let's take a look at the seasonal tendency as well. All right, so let's drop it to, let's take that off, 15 and 20 years, right? So end of March, April, we've been on a bit of an uptrend for the seasonal tendency, um, which technically is reflected here. We've, we've been on the uptrend, but we're consolidating right now. And we're inside of a bullish order block. So let's take a look at the monthly. And let's take everything off. Let's hide everything. Whoops, you know, lock in, hide everything. So we can just take a look at it raw. Oh, so the monthly candle is forming green, but it's tiny. And um, we're still inside of this bearish monthly candle right here. We haven't busted above it. Sorry about the beeping. Let's go to the weekly. Oops. Yeah, so we've been in this big consolidation for the last few weeks, really. So the range has been, we hit 42, 46, and 38, 17 has been the range that we're hanging out inside of. So we're at a premium. So we need to either break through the range. There is a, there's a, there's a, liquidity void here and a volume imbalance just one big thing that they that could be drawing them relatively equal lows at the bottom here that could be drawing them down fair value gap in there and a bullish order block so we'll see all right let me drop down to 15 minutes and let's see what's going on with the new week opening gap so we have friday we closed here and let's delineate that. So we closed there. Let's get let's get blue. So what I use on this is my new week opening gap actuals. So let's take that out. And then Sunday, six o'clock. So we opened here. All right. So let's note that. Um, that was new week opening gap for 23. 23. Let's drop that to the right. Cool. And let's specify, let's like eyeball the midpoint. Approximate right there. Yeah, let's get it a little dotted line. I'm gonna just do a little, a little. Wow, I'm not bad. Haha, <laughs> just eyeballing it. Let's see if my glasses are gross. I'll be all right. All right, cool. So we have a new week opening gap between four and fifty-three. They're they're playing around inside of it currently. Oh, so let's save that and let's open up. Or like I said, we're gonna back test, but I mean, there's the draw of what's really happening right now, right? It's always fun. Let's do this. It's the one minute, go to five minutes. Okay, let's do that. It's 4.55. Let's just note it on here. I'm gonna keep this one as clean as I can. And we opened there approximately. Right there, okay. And let's get our center line approximations about there. Let's get our dotty dot on. Okay, so that's 4150. 4, okay, good. So we opened, we meandered, we dropped, we had a nice shift right there on the five minute. See, so we came in, we hit the, the midway point of this. Oh, did we did we really respect this order block down here? This is the whole order block I had delineated with the gray. 
So there was, and then we had a nice shift. We came back up into the fair value gap and took off. Hmm. Not bad. Order block, probably inside of a fair value gap or something down there too. Anyway, so right now, and it opened up with a gap too. So it's fascinating. So I'm just going to note the gap. Like it's actual, it's an actual liquidity void. So where's my liquidity void? Right there. So it opened up with a liquidity void and was drawn very quickly up to it. So this is 450 in the AMs that gave this opportunity. And this is like the early morning scenario that I usually like to look for if I can get away with it. So we had all of this consolidation. Question is there are 20 handles in this? Yeah, I like to aim for like 21, 22. I would have gotten that right there. Not bad. Okay. I don't like when the candles look like that. There's not a lot of movement attached to them. Anyway, as I said, I'm not doing anything. Ah, I also noted this bearish order block right here. What is this? Oh, I think it was a SMT divergence. All right, so let's look at the one hour. Point that bearish water box. So let me look at this. Look at it. What the heck is that? Seriously, what is it? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. It just, it just creeps me out. Okay. I'm going to delete. Some of this is just getting a little too weird. Clean that up. We're hanging out in this general vicinity. Let's do a little cleanup. When they start moving back towards it, I'll, I'll put it back, but it's getting a little busy. For now, let's just like hang out with what, what's most relevant. Oh, an old high and consequent card from up there that I noted. Another one. Because I'm bullish, I want to note all the ones that are up there. So, in the one hour. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. 50 minutes, we've just rolled back up into this um, bearish order block. So, whatever with that. Okay, so let's let's dive into our back testing video. I mean, not video. Our back testing view, and let's do. Let's get ready to rumble. So we move that. Let's go into the daily. And let's uh, not necessarily Stevie Wonder thing, but let's ignore all of this. It's the grossness, right? And let's get a little Stevie Wonder moment somewhere in this general vicinity. I want to practice the the long entries, but I'm not mad at this. Close your eyes. Let's get Stevie. You know, close, close, close. Click. Well, I guess I'm practicing my short entry. <laughs> All right, where did we hit February? All right, so let's get our um, let's get our back test and book up. Wow, let's get our book so we can make our notes and see how well we're doing. <laughs> okay, red today, I guess. Okay. All right, so we are on Tuesday the 23rd. Okay, so first things first, we come in. That means we're probably going to trade the Wednesday, right? So we're coming in. What are things of interest? So I have this candle right here, and we've got this. So I'm just going to note 
Coming up on consequent encroachment of this wick. Let's note that there. Right. And then we are on this border block. So um let's see here. So we have this bullish order block. Technically all of this is it, but I'm gonna use the first candle. Just to note it. And let's see. Let's change that. And I don't know that there is an imbalance right next to it. I like to note when there is a combo and a combination like that. And there is a small imbalance down here. This guy came into most of it. We'll see. If they bust through this, then you know they'll definitely eat further into this. Now, with that said, let's just note the the fair value gap down here. And since this is an order block, all of it, I'm just going to note where it, it overlaps with it. Okay. What do we have up top? Ooh, things I could draw. So we have what is essentially a volume imbalance, liquidity void combo, so let's just call it that. And... Fair value gap in, in the same general vicinity. Bearish order block. All right, let's drop down to, so right now this is very bearish. Let's drop down to the four hour. So on the four hour, we're curling our way down. And Still very bearish coming into what is essentially a bullish space. So, so the one hour looks like, and what time is it? So it's four o'clock. So let me do the one hour. So it's four o'clock. So let's do two things, right? So let's see if we can find anything in the Asian range. I know it's usually a smaller range. We're just looking for, for five handles, right? The reason why I'm thinking about that is I'm awake and not working mostly during the Asian session, right? Between eight and midnight. So why not try it, right? And then the London session looks nice. I feel like there's some always some nice moves there. And then the New York session, AM, PM, I'm working and it's pretty busy, so I really don't have time. So I'm trying to see if maybe I can test out and just trade like the Asian sessions, right? London, I'm sleeping, so that's probably not a good plan, but let's see. So, with that in mind, let's drop this to the one hour. And that's six o'clock, right? That's six o'clock. So drop up to 15 minutes. It's auto. So I feel like I want to wait till like eight o'clock or something. All right, so we've let's zoom in and then Let's make sure that we have, okay, the Dow isn't, the Dow is very dead this time. So right now it's six o'clock, we've 15 minutes in, we're going sideways. Um, consequent crouch, we're in a bullish order block. There's a fair value gap down here. And we have relatively equal highs right here. There's one, there's some right here as well. So let's see what just happened. Did it, did it disappear? Okay, there we are. So we have buy side here on the 15 minute. And let's drop that. What do we have? So we've already taken sell side out here. Okay, so let's note that so we know what they've done and where, because sometimes it's hard, right? And then we have sell side down here again. So I'm just know where they could be reaching for as well. Right. 
And then in my mind, <clears throat> control, drag. Nope. Okay. Control, drag. All right. Learning. And then we have buy side up here. Cool. So let's drop down to a five minute and let's zoom in and see if we can get some something, right? So what time is it? 6.50. Okay. Just consolidating. It's a Tuesday. So one thing to note, right? So the high of the day. So this looks like the high of the day, 4107. And so far the low of the day is 4038.75. Okay, so high, low. So what's that? That's that range right there. Um now let's continue with five minutes. Man, this is so sad. What day is this? <clears throat> February 21st. Okay, we never know what's happening in that day. It's 8 o'clock. It's very, 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 very boring. So where is the zero GMT? Fifty sub so somewhere around there. That's the open zero GMT. So we're not doing anything. This is, this is the kind of stuff that makes me not want to do anything. So this is the Asian session? Like, what does this look like on the three? Oh, goodness, no. Oops. All right, guys, I feel like I went back too far. This is the June contract, right? This would have been the March contract. That's why it's so low volume. Dang. All right, let's... Sorry, I think I'm back too far. Let's, it's one day, so we gotta get something in the March, April time frame. let's kill this. It's not enough volume to do anything. So we had to be somewhere in here. So let's hit the replay button again. And let's do something in this job vicinity where it's all whatever. All right, quick, quick analysis. Um, They've taken, they have in their cell side all the way down here. Oops. Well, let's split all that. So quick analysis, their cell side down here. Okay. And I've brought us to Friday, March. Let's do the Thursday because you know, it's like it's like get into this into this mission right here. Let's get that that. All right, so um, last red down candle was and things rolled up. So we are currently at a bullish order block right here, and it was a fair value gap. So I'll let it stand. What's the low of this candle? 30, 30, 25. The low of this candle? 30, 39, 25. Okay. All right, and what day is it? It's a Monday. Okay, good. So what do we have to play with? We have bearish order blocks right here. Well, since there is um fair value gap inside of it, I'm going to denote that as something to aim for. Let's make that red. Okay. And then we also have a fair value gap inside of this space as well to aim for. Let's know that. And then we have all the cell side down here and not much else. It's pretty um fairly sorted. We had a, a busy, but they've come in and taken care of this. We've created a SIBI, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. So 
feel like they're gonna they're gonna roll around. All right, let's. So right now it's very bearish, but we're coming into a bullish space. Let's see what they're doing. Four hour consolidating. One hour. So on the one hour, they've taken out this sell side. Yep. And then coming down. So I need them to take something else out to be pretty if we're going to switch anything out. All right. So relatively equal highs here. Yep. So sell side's here. There's one up here as well. Very, very close by. All right. So 15 minutes. So what have we done in the 15 minutes? Shallowly taking this out. And we had a fair value gap right here. And they've left a bullish order block right here, which they appear to be back inside of. And the fair value gap, which looks like they're turning into support. Let's see if they're going to come back down and give us something in this general vicinity. So the model says, and let's remind ourselves, if we're going to go long, right? If we're going to go long, so it's something like, that, 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 take that out. This stopping here will be a mitigation block. Continue back up, right? Let's change the color of that, sorry. It's very much unable to see that. So I want to see them take out sell side here, shift properly, and then come back in either to do mitigation right here or, um, low, 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 or, or come back down to the breaker down here with some sort of fair value gap. And then, of course, they're going to continue on down. Then you're just going to do, 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 you know, and then wait for them to come back up here with a fair value gap or something. So right now, I feel like they're consolidating around 15 minutes. Maybe we can get an entry in like the five minute or something. Let's drop down. We are consolidating. What time is it? Six o'clock on a Monday, right? So now we can try for the eight o'clock thing, right? Oh, that's the New York session. Boring, boring, boring. Okay, so eight o'clock. Let's see what happens in the, within this time frame. See if we can get some something to give us. All right, so that's G or GMT. Okay, we are on the five minutes. So right now, shallow shift above here. What could potentially have looked like? We're continuing down, relatively equal lows. We have sell side all the way down here. We're in a bullish order block. So my expectation is that maybe we're gonna move my turn around bullish. I need to bust through this, I think though, for me to think otherwise, because they could have just been going from a premium to a discount, you know? So we have the shift. This is pretty well sorted order block. It might my preference would be for them to come down to this fair value gap, which they haven't um, done yet, and then give me something in the middle of that. So let's see if we get that middle like that. Um, it's a lot of ticks. And we can, why is it so many ticks? Well, let me go down to a three minute. And then we can aim for like these tops above this thing. So let's see what we get. So there's two of them, one here and one here. I'm okay with them tapping the bottom one. So I'm gonna set my entry to the top of that. Order block. Let's go. Let's zoom in a little bit. Action. So we flat. I don't know if Asia is going to give us anything. So we have buy side up here. 
And sell side right there, right there. So for anybody who went long, let's note that. And let's see what they do. This sell side down here as well. So 836, nothing to do. I want it to be really obvious, you know? So. Really, Asia? This is your whole range. Okay. So, want to break above this? What have we done? Nothing. Relative equal lows. Maybe it's a Judas swing to drop back down. I don't know. So just for funsies, and just so I can visually see it, we're up into this fair value gap right here. Let's just slow roll up, go up to the five minutes. All right, so we did have a shift here, fair value gap. I mean, we are technically bearish, so just curious to see if, let's say we were to take a short from here. Why is it, why are the numbers so weird? Okay, that's better. So if I were to say take a short from here, 20 ticks, that's all we're looking for, 21 ticks. Quick and dirty, that's all we're looking for. This is also, we're inside this bullish order block, so. Ugh, it's grossly choppy. Oh, it's okay. So let's see, because we've entered, what's, what's the low of this candle? 39, 14, 50. It's the high of this one, 39.11.50. We haven't made it to this order block yet. Okay, let's see. Oops. Acting as, as resistance. My general time is at 10.54. It's not a lot of movement. I mean, this is nice, but and I re just realized that it was sitting at this, this shift here, missed it. I was sitting here this whole time. Could we have gotten five handles from there? Yeah. And a stop loss. 16. We got five handles to that. Dang it. If it bounces back down to take this in, I could get five handles. Like if we were to, whoops, if we were to take the risk. Because it's supporting it, right? So I just need 21 handles. It's not even far. Risking 200 for 250. Let's see. Ooh. Where did I gap? I'm not going to get it. Maybe, let's see. Looking at a three minute time frame here. So we do have a shift. They came into this wick and take it out. But I'm still bullish. I was just curious to see if I'd get 20 handles in the retrace. I 
Okay, what time is it? So didn't get 20 handles in the retrace. I don't know if I could do Asia. It seems very, very fickle. Very, it's just too low, low movement. We're acting as support now. So let's say, because I'm I'm long for the most part, we're in this order block. I mean, the re just going up the rest of this is not a bad plan. We could get, I'll mean, just risk nine on that one. Or, you know, consolidating. Hmm. Mm. See if they take out this wick. Still nothing to do. It's the model hasn't like presented itself. I mean, I'll be honest, right? This this shift was nice. Five minutes, right? So if we look at this shift. We had a low, lower, low. It came back as the top thing. I jumped just seeing this freaking hindsight and all that jazz. Other things that I'm just noticing right here, this volume imbalance would have been nice to have noticed. Sometimes I just need to stay on the five minute, you know? And then this breaker, bullish breaker right here. I do it right. Low, lower, low, traded through. It's choppy, but there, it's there. Take that. Could have gotten 20 ticks off of an entry like that with an 8 tick stop loss. And looking for, whoops, Josie. Yeah, 21, 22 ticks right there. So that formed at about 11 o'clock after this shift. It's not perfect though, because I guess they took out the sell side here with this wick right there and then shifted. So the low, lower, low shift came back into the breaker right there and then shifted upwards. I still think it's bullish for the most part, but we're stuck inside of this um, fair value gap. And we're consolidating. Still, I wouldn't have killed that yet. We're coming down to it now. There it is. Chop deep. Chop, chop, chop. Are we coming back to this volume imbalance? So, I mean, this is nothing. We can't do anything with this. So my original thought about oh, volume imbalance in here, we took this out. We haven't come all the way back down here. Let's see what we do. And then I'm going to have to close this because I start work. Let me balance here on the five minutes. Tapped it. I have no, yeah, given the behavior, I'm thinking it's coming back down to here. And then maybe giving us a second opportunity for that long right here. And there's all of this to play with. So this entire candle is that breaker. And we have this volume and balance in there. So my preference would be to get an entry from here. Stop loss below that. And coming back up to here. Let's see if we get that really quickly before I have to dig. But first, you have to get through this volume and balance. Oh, that's strong. So I wouldn't just enter here, I had to see how it behaves, right? They're inside. Let's note this. So we have the breaker. Ooh, there's, but well, technically both of these, this, these two up candles is breaker, right? 
that whole thing right there. So the, they busted into the breaker. And they give me some, yeah, some desire to go back up. So let's say I were to buy it here within that space. And that would have been, I should have waited. What does it look like on the three minutes? Yeah. Oh. Sometimes you gotta zoom out, right? So ignoring the breaker, they came back down to this. After the shift, came back down to this order block with that. Hmm. Just curious. Let's say if I'm crazy and I'm holding, which I'm not, so I'm just gonna flatten, take take my licks, come back down here. They need to take this out. Using it as support. So if I say were to do this, and then go this way, they're at the base of the breaker, y'all. So I'm gonna buy here and see what happens. Okay. And now we're entering into uh, it's 2 a.m. London time. I got five minutes. Oh, still not at full thing. And I am dead in I time, time got me. Time, 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 time. So I would have lost, well, I would have lost 200. So it would have been 400. But anyway, time got me. We roll back into the zero GMT. In any case, I gotta, I gotta, I have a hard stop now. I have a lot to learn. Happy trading. Let me know your thoughts. Shakira, out.